Have you ever seen like a movie in the movie theater where you have to wear those glasses? I got sick. It made I, you sick. Right? Yeah, I got sick. <laughs> if your phone or something like this screen was in 3D, how would you feel about that? Yeah, I just like, you know, everything in the real world to be in the real world and everything in on your digital devices to be, to be just digital. on my device. Do you like 3D technology? 3D a lot of misconceptions out there about 3D technology just because of the way it's been used in the past and the way people have experienced it up until now and I'd like to address some of these things in this video. When you ask people about 3D devices or the experience with 3D technology there are a couple of things that people tend to say and one of them is that what, what is the value? What does it bring to me? A second thing, oh it makes me sick, I feel so uncomfortable, I hate the, the experience. Oh that's been done before, it's really old technology and it doesn't work. There will always be comments like this in the comment section on videos or posts about new 3D devices. So in today's video I'm going to be addressing all of these points and explaining why I believe that everyone should be giving 3D another chance and why today's technology is not the same as the things we've seen in the past. Point number one, our world is in 3D. We see things in 3D with our own eyes. That means that in reality the most natural experience to us all is to see something in 3D. We look at the things around us, nature, people, food, everything, performances, it's all in 3D. That means if you could theoretically achieve something that looks identical to what we see in the real world on a display, it would make it feel more alive. I have never in my entire life encountered somebody who's complained about 3D in reality being finicky. For example, if you hold your finger out in front of you and look past it, you'll get a double image. This is just natural. It happens no matter where you are and what you're doing. Our eyes are only able to focus on one thing at a time. All the other stuff that we're not looking at becomes blurred or becomes double images. And that is just how our reality works. It's how our eyes work. So when you look at a 3D display and you see something funky going on, people would complain and say this is being finicky or it's really unstable or it makes me feel uncomfortable. But this is actually something that is happening to most people every day of our life. Part of the problem with displays is that people have this expectation that it's supposed to be flat and show you what you want to see. Most people will not look at a display and expect it to show you something that looks like reality. You're expecting to see something behind a flat screen. So if you have a beautiful 3D display and you look at it and you go into it with the mindset that you're going to be looking at a display, that's not what actually ends up happening because there's these images coming at you that make it in 3D and your eyes are trying to find a flat screen which isn't there. There's an illusion that this doesn't even exist. So it makes it feel uncomfortable. For example, if I lined up a bunch of bottles in front of me and looked at each and every one of them, I would have to focus my eyes on whichever one I'm looking at, depending on how far away they are from me. Moving your eyes from object to object your eyes need to refocus. That is the same way you need to look at a 3D screen because it's behaving like reality. Nothing on the screen is going to be appearing flat, so you have to treat it as if you're looking at a real scene. When you have multiple people in a room and you're talking to them and you look at this person and then you look at person B and then person C, your eyes will focus on each person depending on where they're standing and how close they are to you. So when we look at these 3D displays, that's the mindset that we need to have, otherwise it becomes uncomfortable because you're trying to focus your eyes in the wrong spot. It's like talking to people back there, but me trying to focus my eyes here when the device is creating an illusion that this isn't even there. Point number two, we've seen glasses free 3D come and go many times in the past, but it never took hold. And there is one big reason for that, because the experience and the overall quality was just not good enough. It has never reached a level that can be accepted by anyone and feel comfortable to any user. But today's 3D glasses free technology is different. We have finally reached a level where that is not the case anymore. The resolution is much higher. It is much more stable. There is AI involved, which helps keep the images stable. It can track our head position with cameras in the front, which makes the image stay in focus and not have any crosstalk or any blurring or weird things going on that make you feel uncomfortable or motion sick. That's not something that was possible in the past. And it makes it so that anybody can pick up a device and look at it and feel comfortable. They can have a good experience and it won't feel like something weird is going on. So when people comment or talk about 3D displays being all uncomfortable or weird or just being like, oh, this has been done so many times before, we're not talking about the same technology anymore and it's not on the same level. So once you experience this for yourself, it becomes very clear what the benefits and what the difference is between a 3D display and traditional 2D displays. So point number three is really that it brings you this more immersive, more engaging experience. And what does that mean? You know, people question 3D displays and 3D technology, ask them what is the value it brings. And I would say think back to black and white television. Would people say, 
oh no, we don't want color television. We want to stick with black and white. Or what about those big, bulky televisions that we used to have? That a round, curved, a fuzzy image, low resolution, compared to our 4K, 8K flat screen TVs. I don't hear anybody talking about going back to the older version of TVs. Or thinking about original cell phones and the upgrade to the way, for example, the iPhone 14 or screen on the latest smartphones is now the level of resolution and clarity, color. Everything is so much better than it used to be. And nobody's saying, you know, we should just go back to the way cell phones were when cell phones first came out with those little screens with very low resolution and poor coloring and lighting. 3D is doing that same thing. It's taking everything that we've had and that we have now and adding a whole new dimension to it. All of the benefits that we have with flat screen TVs, but making the image itself look like our own reality, which makes us feel more. It brings more emotion to you. It feels more immersive. It feels like you could reach out and touch it or reach into the screen and just grab whatever's inside it. The point is, is it just looks real. People might say, well, why do you want an illusion like that? It's still not real. It's not physical. It may look like it's popping out of the screen, but it isn't actually popping out of the screen. So I would just ask you to think about with what's on any 4K display, with any display that we have, is that image actually real? What's really going on there is that you have tiny little dots. In most cases, it's pixels that are very small. There is no actual physical 2D thing that exists there. It's just a bunch of colored dots that seem to form an image that is precise enough to trick our minds and our eyes into believing that something is there behind that screen. Even though the image is flat, it looks believable to us because it has the right proportions. It has the right coloring. It's very clear. But in reality, it's just a bunch of dots moving very fast on a display. There is nothing actually there. And the same thing is happening with 3D technology. Although nothing is technically actually coming out of the screen and nothing is going back into the screen, it's good enough and clear enough, had a high enough resolution, delivering light in just the right directions to your eyes to make you believe that it actually is. And it looks like something is there. And that's all that matters. So 3D is just another type of screen that allows to have an even more enhanced experience than any other technology we've seen up until this point. For example, with, with this display, you can see here that I position this 3D tablet on this table so that you can see that the table is appearing in the screen, just as it would if I was looking at the table with my own eyes, and there's nothing behind it. But if I take a picture of a box of cookies, and then remove it from behind the tablet, and look at the picture on the tablet screen, you can see that it looks as if the cookies are really there. It's so real that it looks as though that it makes you think you could reach inside the screen and pick up a cookie and pull it right out. And this goes for any type of content that you capture on this type of display. If you capture a photo of objects or video of objects close enough to the screen, it will appear to be coming out of the screen. And it looks like you are actually viewing an object as if it were very close to your eyes or close to in front of you. It appears as though it physically exists in the same space as you. And the illusion that creates when you're looking at something on a tablet screen or a a screen in 3D is that it's coming out of the screen at you and it really looks like it is. And the final point I want to make is that all of these 3D screens are going to enhance what people are looking to do with the metaverse or these different types of AR and VR and mixed reality technologies because what people see in those AR glasses or VR headsets is not accessible to other people right now. Even if you could visualize it using our cell phones and 2D devices, it's only on a flat screen and it's not that convincing. It doesn't bring that same level of immersion as those devices do for people that are using them. The potential that these devices have with 3D displays will be to show us the world that those people are experiencing with AR glasses, VR headsets, and similar technology. You could point a tablet, for example, in the direction of somebody who's using an AR headset or a VR headset or AR glasses and see what they are seeing. And it will also appear to be actually physically at least looking through the window of your device's screen, it'll appear to exist in the room that you are viewing it in. You will be seeing exactly what they're experiencing also in 3D and it will look real. So this is going to be a new way to connect, to bridge the gap between our current 2D world of devices and what people are experiencing and enjoying in the AR and VR mixed reality setting. So those are just some reasons why I think 3D not only deserves a second chance, but is going to become very prevalent in our everyday lives in the not too distant future. And I think it's something that we can all be excited about. And it's important to keep an open mind. Once technology develops and evolves, it always brings change and it always brings surprises. Things that were once 
unpleasant and not ready for just a general audience 10 20 years later grow into something completely different and you'd be surprised at how positive of an experience that can be i'm sure before long you will all have the opportunity to experience exactly for yourself what it's like to enjoy content and different tools and apps on these devices and once you're able to have that opportunity just keep in mind the things that i said today 3d not only deserves another chance it's going to inevitably find its way into all of our devices because of how natural and engaging of an experience it's able to deliver. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.